Uh, we all know that Sarah is uh, a busy lady and she's got a lot going on. And she realized that the uh, deadline was fast approaching for this giveaway. So uh, she has tasked us with helping her out, getting this beetle through body work and ready for one of you guys to win in the giveaway. So today, we got this guy here, and I'm gonna make him do everything. And that's pretty much it. So what Sarah did already was, she went around and completely paint stripped this whole thing. She got it down to bare metal. Oh, and him. Not you, him. And uh, they got this thing all stripped down to bare metal. And then she went ahead and just put two coats of epoxy primer on the whole thing. So it just had a real nice foundational layer for us to do all the body work over, some nice corrosion resistance and stuff under there. So what we're gonna do today is go around and I'm gonna show you all how you might approach doing body work on a project of this magnitude. Older vehicles are always pretty dinged up, kind of beat. This one is no exception. So we got a lot of work to do. I already started getting some of the stuff knocked out, but this side over here is definitely not as far along. This is just block primer and stuff. And then these little panels down here are not prepped at all. We've got the hood, the doors, and the front, or no, those are the rear fenders. Yeah, we got the rear fenders to do as well. So we're gonna try to knock this whole thing out in hopefully one day. And then primer it tomorrow. Cause that's the kind of deadlines we're talking about. So without further ado, here you go. Uh, <laughs> all right guys, so we're gonna go ahead and finish this thing up. Um, I'm gonna do most of the work like always and uh, Fred's gonna get to do the fun part and shoot it. <laughs> and you know, I'm just gonna get to watch him from the, from the window. So essentially what we have on here right now is two kind of thin coats of epoxy primer and we're going to use that as a sanding guide to just kind of show us if there's any big like dents or any big high spots that we need to address before we go to the polyester primer step. So this whole thing, because it is kind of more like a restoration job, is going to get three coats of a really nice high build polyester primer. Um, which we're then gonna long block out with 120, feather all the way up to 400 and then shoot. So that primer is gonna give us a lot of mills and material that we can really chisel this thing super dead straight and flat without worrying about the bodywork being like 100% flawless underneath. Um, that being said, we're not like cutting corners by any means. We're still gonna make sure that this thing is straightened out um, before we get to that step. But it's a little bit more forgiving. So what I'm doing right now is just hitting everything in 150 and I'm trying to identify if there's any low spots. So, so far everything's looking pretty good, but there are a few spots like you can see right here where it's sanded and then in the center has an ever so slight little low spot and you can see because it's not sanded in the center there, right? And that would signify that we have a low, something we should fill in. But there are areas kind of like this, right? Where that's a significantly that's like an actual dent, right? You can see that's a pretty good sized spot. So because there's areas like that all over some of these panels, we're gonna go ahead and just do what's called a skim coat. So we're gonna mix up some body filler and we're gonna make sure everything's sanded real good underneath. And we're just gonna do a quick thin coat on the whole panel and block it all out simultaneously so it's all one nice uniform straight piece.
Paint it pink. Surprise, guys, you didn't even know. So yeah, we got this thing all body worked. Had a couple spots where it just needed like some filler and stuff on the roof. This is just some glazed putty, so it's actually really thin. Uh, it didn't take very much. These panels up front, we just went ahead and gave them a quick skim coat. Uh, quarter panel, same deal, quick skim coat and block. That front piece. So a lot of this stuff didn't really need a whole hell of a lot. Um, I think this panel up here, just putty. This one took two skims. It had some dingers and the dents and stuff that we um, tapped out from the backside pretty good, but it took a little bit more. Aside from that, everything else was really pretty straightforward and didn't take very much. So what I'm gonna do right now, I'm gonna load it up with three coats of this uh, high build polyester primer. I'm gonna spray it with a 2.5 out of the SADA. Nice big tip for the polyester. And we're gonna get some build on this thing so that we can pass it over to Sarah. She's gonna go ahead and guide coat the whole thing and then block it all out and get it ready for paint. Let's see what the uh, temperature's looking like in here today. Doesn't feel too bad, actually. Mm. Guess that's how you know you live in Tucson when you're like, oh, it's 90 and 55% humidity and it doesn't feel too bad.